welcome back to the channel if you're a new viewer please consider subscribing if you have been here and haven't subscribed what prevents you from subscribing to the channel now in this video i'm will be replacing a pole station so i'll be going through the steps of replacing a pole station and then testing it afterwards so stay tuned so let's begin so first of all you're going to need your flat screwdriver so from the top of the pole station there's a screw there for a flat screwdriver where you want to turn so you put your screwdriver in, turn on it and then pull down then you have your two screws one at the top and one at the bottom so you want to undo the top screw or whichever you like and then once you get your screws out you can get you pull the pull station forward you can get to the wires this is a conventional four wire fire alarm system two wires for your power from the fire alarm system fire alarm system and two wires for your end of line so there's four terminal screws I undone the two wires already the two screws are ready for the two wires and I'm just doing undoing the other two so I for demonstration purpose I'm metering it so you see your 24 volt 24.55 volt there so we have our power there and then I also meter it for the end of line. So you want to put it on to your resistor your, if you have a multimeter. And just confirm that you're getting your end of line. So I'm just testing my meter. It's working. So putting the meter onto the end of line wires, I get my 3.843K 3 3 resistor. So it's all good. So now, with uh, the new pull station, it actually comes with wires because the old one that was there, it actually has terminal screws that were um, that the wires were connected to. So these ones require merits. So I'm going to trim the wires down evenly, and I will be using merits to connect them together. And it's nice to have these pull station uh, with the uh, with the wires um, come with longer wires so that because most buildings, older buildings, the wires, the fire alarm wires tend to be short, or perhaps the electrician um, run short wires. Um, you don't have to worry about that because it comes with the wires that are long enough that you can merit it together. So I'm twisting and trying to straighten out the, the existing wire because we're not using like. Like I said, we'll be meriting them together and it will be require like a nice straight wire. And so I'm gonna trim them down evenly and then I will be connecting them. So I have them separated. On one side you have your negative and one side you have your positive with your inner line. So now for my connection time connection, so this pull station comes with uh, black and white wires. Um, either side will work um, as long as you you separate the negative from the positive. So here I'm connecting the black wire to black, and then I'm going to connect the end of line to the other black wire. So like I said, I um, just want to make it clear that long, uh, as long as the wires are like the black, the two black wires are connected to one side of the end of the line and the negative is connected to the to the other black wire, then you, you should be, your connection will be good. And you want to tighten up the merits so that they're nice and tight. And now I will be tightening up connecting the other side. The two white wires connected to the other feed. So your power, your positive, and then your end of line resistor. So there we go. So I'm get my red wire. 
which is my positive connected to the white wire. So I'm going to twist it to make an even connection for my mirror so my mirror could connect properly and then tighten it and that'd be nice and tight. I'm going to get my mirror, twist it clockwise. And on my other side of the white wire, it goes to the end of the line. So the green wire here, they're using it as an end of line. So you want to take that, kind of connect, connect it to the other side of the white wire. There we go. And so now it's all connected. Tuck the wires away. You don't want to pinch the wires. Like, like I said before, it's just the same step as the as the beginning to turn the screw at the at the top of the pull station. So you want to turn it and kind of pull on it, pull on it a bit, and then you should get it to open. Once you get it open, you got you get your screws. And you want to make sure when you're putting it back that it's all properly aligned. up now like I said before we're gonna test it so we're gonna pull it down flip it up for on flip it down to turn it off and then we we'll close it back up and now we're gonna confirm our alarm at the fire panel and there we have it we have an alarm at the fire panel we have our alarm zone and then we're gonna reset reset the fire panel and You'll see that trouble. There's a trouble there because the bells are actually silent. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.